Windows XP. Missing key. This is the CD-ROM drive, which does not open the little piece of plastic. It did come off, however. These are the USB. The three USB ports. These are the sensitive touch ones. This is the button for the Wi-Fi. Here's the on-off button. Upon startup, there is a tiny little blue line that comes down here. However, once the computer's up and running, it doesn't show anymore, so I'm not sure about that. Here's the VGI port for um, hardware for a monitor. There's your other thing. This right here is actually a chip. Oh, and, uh, this computer still runs great. It's like running on Windows XP. Um, the battery attaches here, but um, it has to be plugged into the wall unit. It doesn't stay charged, so would need a new battery or you would just have to leave it plugged in. Uh, let's see. It is in a Veritech. And this little piece on the back, which this is metal right here. You can see that. That's where the hinge is. It's just a little plastic cap that covers it. See on the other side, that's what it looks like. Um, as far as the bottom goes, I believe it's a 13 point something inch screen. Here's the bottom. Windows Veritech. Here's the fan. Here's the battery. Where it detaches right here. Just detach that. I believe that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, just post them in the auction. Thanks.